first of all, let's start with what our research tells us. And that interconnectedness really is very meaningful. So what we do see is where you make improvements in your physical well-being, your mental well-being, or your financial well-being, it has an effect across all. And when you improve all together, it's a compounding effect. The role that we as insurers can play, obviously there's product provision, but it goes well beyond that. Really starting with educating customers and in actually incentivizing them to do things around their physical well-being, their mental well-being, or their financial well-being. A great example of that is what we've done in Hong Kong, for example, with uh, Well Plus. It's a digital platform. It's there to engage clients and incentivize them to learn more about their physical and mental well-being, and then the crossover into financial well-being as well. One of the things that's really important, actually, is how consumers improve their resilience. And that does mean actually planning ahead and being more structured around this. I think we all know that um, without structure, nothing happens. Um, and really important that you actually take a, a, a structured and a plan view to this. Obviously, start with your physical well-being, but apply the same logic to your financial well-being as well. I'll start off with customer needs, uh, obviously. So um, life stage is really, really important. So whether that's when you're very young and your education, your first job, starting a family, raising a family, thinking about retirement, and then thinking about legacy. So we have to start off with consumers' needs. And I think what's really important though is the concept of total wealth management. So that means the role that insurance plays implicitly uh, across wealth management. So that's savings and investment, protection of your assets and of your life, obviously, healthcare provision, um, Accumulation, decumulation, so that whole retirement planning aspect, and then obviously again, legacy planning, wealth transfer. Really important factors, particularly now as you know, we see more issues around longevity risk, a good problem to have in that people are living longer, but it does mean they need to plan more effectively for life and retirement and beyond that. And the growing cost of healthcare. So the ability to access healthcare costs at a reasonable level. And what's great is the ability to bring that together as a holistic proposition. So best of insurance with the bank means that you get that holistic financial planning outcome. I mean, obviously, what digital has done over the last few years has transformed the business. So for a period through the pandemic, we weren't even able to access clients in the way that we had been previously. Technology has allowed us to access clients in a very, very different way. So telemedicine is a, is a great uh, development. Clients were able to access us without any issues at all through that period. There's new technology that even allows you to diagnose through telemedicine as well. So I think that's very exciting. The ability to use digital to improve customer journeys and engage and actually simplify what can be quite a complex topic quite often. So I think that's one aspect. The other is around data and analytics and how we use data and analytics. And the fact that we can now use that and create much more personalized solutions for clients and actually help preempt uh, issues for clients as well. So I think if you bring those two components together, it's a very exciting way forward for insurance and how InsureTech is used within the industry.